Hi guys, welcome to Erathon Empire, still your G-Town boy, Prince P. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you're watching me from. And this is another episode of The Hygis. I know how we do right here. We dissect, we intercept, and we deliberate on trending issues, trending topics, controversies, and we give you factual analysis on policies, entertainment, showbiz updates, and things happening around you. And honestly speaking, today, just there's no time for too much talks because I'm diving in. Today, this is full of violence and controversies. Guys, we'll be talking about... Mwike endorsing APC, a lot of violence. And also, Adodi, Tanian president, has been booed again in Kumasi. I'll be giving you all the inters and all the includums. And also, we'll be talking about Justin Bieber, Omale, Don Jazzy. Blessing CEO has come out to lambast everyone criticizing him against Bimbo. Guys, I'll be giving you all the inters. Just stay tuned. Tinibu has asked Atiku to return the favor. <laughs> It's funny, but I'll be giving you all the answers also. We have a lot to talk about. A lot. Just stay tuned, stay glued, but please, before we dodge in, subscribe. Click the notification button and don't forget to like, comment, share with your friends so that you can actually stay updated anytime, any day I upload. Just stay tuned. All right, quickly, let's talk about... The governor of River State, Governor Nelson Mwike. Nelson Mwike has come out to openly declare his support for PDP, making it known that he's not supporting the governor of Lagos State, Sanolu. And he stated the fact that no other governor aspirant should come out to even contest or campaign for election because governor of Lagos State, Sanolu, will still be the governor tomorrow next tomorrow and in the future, that nobody should come out to contest. Other governor, they should go and yes down. They are not qualified to be governor of Lagos State. That was what he stated. And now PDP, they have come out to lambast him, stating the fact that he no carry talk and wear. In fact, he no carry do and wear. Say, what's in the worker? How can you be supporting another governor in another party? Why your own day? Why are you not supporting your party? Why are you not supporting PDP? You were supposed to be clamoring or pledging support for PDP. But now you are pledging support for APC because Sanulu is in APC. So why? They have come out to lambast Mwike. But I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. I've, I've always seen it coming because I know that PDP now is divided pdp do not get one mind again they are divided Mwike has been fighting pdp Mwike has been fighting pdp and he has been asking for them to honor his demands and what is that his demand that chairman of pdp should resign so all his requests have not been granted atiku overlooked him atiku snubbed him and move on with his campaign. So I think he's not happy about the whole shenanigans going on in PDP. And I speak to you right now, ladies and gentlemen, PDP is divided. So I'm not surprised that Mike is supporting governor of Lagos State. I'm not surprised. But it is what it is. Oh, no concern me. That's their own family member issue. Moving on to Ghana, let's talk about Adodi. Hmm. Our daddy in the Lord went to Kumasi and he was he was heavenly booed again. Nanado was booed again for the second time. The first time was his address during the Global Citizen Festival. He was booed out of the stage, and this time he traveled, he went to Kumasi for inauguration and he was booed again. And honestly speaking, this morning, he has been trending. He has been trending for the wrong reasons. But see, let's be completely honest. Things that are happening in Ghana now, when you, when, when you start analyzing it and you start thinking about it, you can post your mind. Because now, eh, see this, see this now, eh, the way see this now, they look up to dollar. It's scary. It's very, very scary. 
dollar now, you know, be small. Oh, Charlie. CDs have depreciated, compreciated, labriciated, lagadish. In fact, CDs now they speak in tongues. Honestly speaking, it's not funny. It's not funny again. Every day, every day, CDs keep on depreciating and things are getting worse. You know, be small thing, no. The economy now is not funny. Before, the joke was funny, but now the joke is not funny. The joke now, they bore me because things are not getting better again. And you see all this. Fellow Ghanaians, when they come on Twitter, they talk. Whoa, 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 whoa. If if you really want this change, you know be social media where you go do for that change. You know be social media. I came out and I shouted earlier. I shouted, no more, no more for Nana, no more. Other people said, four more, four more for Nana, four more. We are not in that month. We are, and nobody they go anywhere. We know they go. In fact, let them close the borders. Nobody is moving anywhere. We are in this together. We are in this together. We'll finish it together. We die here, pa. We die here. We are not suffering yet, so we are still enjoying. We, like we still have like how many how many years? We still have like two years. Maybe we should just make it more six years so that we we'll know that yes, we have completed full sentence. Nobody is going anywhere. See, this is just simple arithmetic. The first journey was not successful. How do you think that the second journey will be successful? Jimmy, we are in this. See, eh? I'm not going to come bother myself. Oh. I'm not. I'm not bothering myself. And please, please, you, you people should allow him, because he's trying his best. You people should allow him. He promised change, and now he's implementing that change. Nobody should come here. See, eh? may nobody bother us now, because we are enjoying this change. Honestly speaking. Get sense, may we? All right, quickly, let's talk about Omale and Justin Bieber. Honestly, Omale and Justin Bieber, they have hit it big. They have hit it big, big time. It's not easy. It's not easy. For you to be making huge streams, it's not easy. Omale and Justin Bieber new release has hit, as I'm speaking to you now, ladies and gentlemen, it has hit 54 million streams on Spotify. Guys, it not be easy. It's not easy. If you think, say, it is easy, go sing your own. Put there and see how many streams we go get. It's not easy, honestly. It's a big one. It's a huge achievement for them. Huge recognition. You know, easy to get 54 million streams on Spotify. Guys, waiting. It's too much, guys, and it's huge. And I know, say, all these jobless fans now, we don't go sell their kidney and their conscience. They go soon come, they attack me, say, oh, Banner Boy is not a new thing. Banner Boy has done it. Whiskey has done it. How about the video? I know, say, they go soon come now, they attack me. But I don't care. It's a big win for them. And if, if you think it's not a big win for them, I don't care. Go and ask them. Hmm. Don't just the time me sometimes. So. Don't just the, the way they talk, self. That man, he's far from getting married. He's very, very far from getting married. In fact, marriage is not no day in his constitution. In no day his manifesto at all. Why am I saying this? Bon um, I said Bonaboy, I die. Bonaboy. Who are you? Ha! Ah, I pay for. Don Jazzy was interviewed and uh, they asked him, they were asking him about his career and his relationship 
And this is what he has to say. Barnab Jimmy Don Jazzy. Mm, if I talk Bonner Boy again, heaven. Don Jazzy, this is what Don Jazzy has to say. Don Jazzy stated the fact that he's not he's not ready now for any marriage. That in fact, for the girls way he they like that before, he used to like girls with big butts, but now his taste has 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 enhanced. In fact, his libido has generated that now, what you need to like now, he be petty, softy, freaky. <laughs> Honestly, after listening to Don Jazzy's spec, ah, mm -mm. honestly speaking, Don Jazzy, repentance is far from his bosom. Don Jazzy, repentance is very far from his bosom. If they get, if they get misunderstanding with repentance, he, that dude is not ready for any marriage. It's obvious. In, in no carry day ready today tomorrow. They were asking you questions based on how soon you are going to get married or settle down. How soon? You don't the old though. You don't the old. I don't know now. I don't know. You and women now, who should be praying for for husband? By this time, Don Jazzy, you should be praying for wife. Honestly. Yet, you don't even care. All you are talking about is now your new spec. Freaky, softy, petty, butchy, mushy, Range Rover, sports. <laughs> Okay, quickly, let's dive into matters arising in blessing CEOs come. Hmm. I don't know. It they surprised me how people they drink Panadol on someone's headache. I don't know. Ever since the tragedy happened between Bimbo and IVD, her husband, some celebrities, I don't know if they are jobless or they are just frustrated. They are just looking for something to kill boredom. Because at this point, I know they can they understand. Mentias here. How these people, they get time. They talk about someone's issue. Blessing CEO has come out to lambast. In fact, eh, this lady, she don't bust out on Instagram. Tear her clothes. Cut her Brazilian hair. Chop. Say, make nobody again. See all these celebrities that are coming on her DM to ask her to keep quiet or to stay away from that issue of bimbo because of what she said, that she came out and she stated the fact, the truth about bimbo and the husband. That is not only bimbo that is going through domestic violence, that the husband was also going through domestic violence through bimbo. That bimbo was also tormenting the husband. So she came out and made those revelations and those comments and people has been coming on her DM to attack her and ask her to stay away from that issue. So she came out and now she, she has addressed everyone. That hey, everybody should carry their own bag. All are booky, carry your cat. I'm, I'm, I'm here. I'm here doing my own thing. I'm here doing my own thing. You can't tell me who to support or who to talk to. Or you can't tell me to stop saying the truth. That was what she stated, that what she was saying is nothing but the truth. And those people that are asking her to stop saying the truth, they should go and nash down. Oh, if I did talk, they talk, they look me like saying, I may be blessing. Oh, yeah, really? Lady celebrities, I want to warn you. If you are close to me and you're a celebrity, and you send me a DM or call me again, I will insult you. Because whenever you have problem, most of you come to my DM to side you. Whenever you have issues, a lot of you come to my DM and say, Blessing, please, can you just use your voice and save me? It has reached another person turn now. Just because you are friends with them, Blessing, mind your business. Do you know how many celebrities that beg me when they have controversy for me to just put a word for them? Do you know how many celebrities I have saved when they have controversy? Many of you are... This same man is a man that most of you celebrities, you go to club and you drink with. 
Una, in the pop and see for all of Una, this same IVD suddenly he has a problem. All of you are shouting, mind your business, mind your business. You people need to be careful about people that you call friends. I'm so shocked when people were calling me and telling me, bless you related to IVD. Our prayer should be the fact that anytime you are in need, God will raise somebody that does not know you to stand by you. Whenever you are in problem, it is not your friends that stand by you. It is people who God, who God will send to stand by you. It's except you've not been in problem before. And I pray that a lot of you that are running your mouth, you will have a problem and the world will stone at you. A lot of you have not been in the other side. Sincerely speaking, it has been scientifically proven that these ladies, they are just trying to chase clouds. They are looking for validation, popularity. Because I know the barb. These ladies, they will just come out, they talk jabberish. How can you be drinking Panadol? Or how can you be drinking Astro Seed on someone's headache? What's happen? Now you be the judge. Are you the judge? Are you trying to... See, I don't listen to you. I know the barb. Are you the judge? Listen, something like this has happened. You ladies should allow the law to investigate and know who is innocent and who is not. It's just as simple as that. If IVD is innocent, they will release him. If he's not innocent, he will face the consequences. It's just as simple as that. But you see, these ladies, they will come on social media, they make noise. We have a lot going on in Nigeria again. See, you people shouldn't add to our pains. Because obviously speaking, you you ladies are just there making noise. Are they? You girls should keep quiet. Are they? What is wrong with you ladies? Ah, my bro, my bro. Well, quickly, let's dive into the matters arising in the camp of IPOP. Now, indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, they have come out to warn the Attorney General, Abu Bakr Malami. They have come out to warn him that he should stop making those statements that he's making. If you guys recall, last week, Namdi was, was acquitted. The judge closed his case. So he was discharged and he was acquitted of all the charges. But still yet, the government, they are still stating the fact that Nam they cannot still have a lot to answer. They can't just carry, release him like that. They still have a lot to answer. Now the Attorney General is coming out to state the fact that if they, if, if they, they consider to release Nam they can now the evil governors, the Southeast governors, they have to come together and agree and tell them that they want Namde Khan to be released. In that condition, they can release Namde Khan. That is the only condition now they are placing that the Igbo governor should come in one mind and ask them to release Namde Khan. <laughs> so now you people are, are listening to Igbo governors more than the, the judge. So what you are trying to let us understand is that the, the court or the judge doesn't really have any, any say in what, in what is happening in the government or in what you people do. If you people know, say, you won't listen to the judge. Why are you carrying them? They can't go court. Now for just cook my liver. So what is the essence of going to the courts for trials upon trials upon trials? And later, now finally, he has been discharged. Now for you guys to free him is a problem. So why would I carry him go court? The court has discharged his case. It's just simple. Release him. Release him. Because how can judge Discharge Nam the Kano. Now free Nam the Kano. You say Dabi Dabi Dabi. Usai. You don't want to free Nam the Kano. Why? 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 It's just simple. You guys went to court. 
and Inam De Kanu was discharged. He has been acquitted of all the allegations levied against him. It's just simple. Release Inam De Kanu. Let him be free. Let him go. Before people will incur another rot. Before people will incur another problem. Nigeria problem will have a lot going on in this our system already. Inam De Kanu shouldn't be an issue again. Release him. Simple mathematics. Simple instruction. Federal government. Get sense. May we... Okay, so quickly, let's talk about our daddies in the Lord. Let's talk about PDP and APC. Atiku and Tinibu. Tinibu has come out to urge Atiku to back down. To back down and endorse him. That make him remember, say, during 2007... He supported him during his campaign. He was by his side. In fact, they were like bread and butter. Banku and Sheto. Tinibu came out and made it clear that it's high time Atiku returned the favor. He needs to return the favor because it's time for him to be the president. Now Atiku has to back down and support him <laughs> you see uh, one thing i like about our politicians is that they have this kind deteriorating smelling self-entitlement their self-entitlement it is smell it is smell like madman and pit that's why they keep on fooling around that's why they keep on messing around that's why they keep on if they be, if they are on that seat that they feel like god now anything that they say is the final say They are not serving us. We are the ones serving them. That's their mentality. The self-entitlement make a back down because you supported him 2007. So that's the reason why he needs to back down for you. For you to... <laughs> Meanwhile, a clip has been trending and see... Honestly, I want you guys to watch this clip because it get where they go with this clip. The nobles are just the carry the talk. Oh, yeah, really? You see that Tinibu and Atiku they met each other in a conference, and what happened? They joke, they laugh, nothing violence. That is to show you that these people they know they kill themselves, so these people they are not enemies. We are the people deceiving ourselves. They are not enemies. We are the people deceiving ourselves. Why I'm saying this? These youths do or die. Hey, hey, hey. We must, we must, we must support all these youths that are instigating violence when it comes to election, when it comes to political careers. Die. Mona stop. Oh. You see, make una stop. Because these people, they are not even quarreling. You see how friendly they are? That is to show you that this political ambition is not something that we should kill ourselves. Youth, we shouldn't kill ourselves because of these politicians. Because the last thing they will do is to even fight themselves. They are so friendly. But when you come outside, you will see... All these supporters, do or die, they want to kill anybody that is supporting another party. They know they get sense. And the worst part of it is that 
Tinubu is not their father. He's not related to them. He's not even their cousin. Nothing, no, nothing closer. Only small or them. Where politicians go or then them. Small or then. Where politicians go or then them. Hey! They are ready to kill. They are ready to fight anybody. See, eh, we they do ourselves. We they do ourselves. It's high time we understand that. These people, they don't have enemies. They are not enemies. We are the one. We are the one killing ourselves. Honestly, the youth, this is the time we need to have common sense. We need to be wise. Like, we need to think. This election is not a do or die affair. Support who you they support and leave other people to support the person that they want to support. And remember, if you they support, make sure that you vote for the right candidate. Because this tenor, see, we do on die minutes now. So anything that happens now, and this I don't finish you. So if you are voting, vote wisely. Vote wisely. It's not a do or die affair. Get sense. May we? All right, guys. So that will be all in today's episode. And you know how we do right here. Just stay tuned, stay glued, because I'll be coming back with another interesting, innovating, captivating, elevating. Guys, just stay tuned. But please, subscribe. Subscribe, click the notification button, and don't forget to like, comment, share with your friends so that you can stay updated anytime, any day, upload. Thanks for watching. God bless.